guys good morning i'm up and early today i've been up since like 7 it's 8 8 06 right now um i have to feed mommies and she refuses to eat anything but chicken still so i'm continuing to feed her the chicken even though like i feel i don't want her to get my nails or anything so i need to warm it up a little bit more um but yeah right now i remembered i was gonna i need to get my nails done so since i'm up and early i think i'm gonna go do it uh my phone is only at 35 percent though so i think i'm gonna wait a little bit for it to charge or i'll go get like starbucks or something and then i will go that way i have something to sip on i don't i haven't eaten anything i'm probably not gonna eat anything right now so i would just get some starbucks and that's gonna be it oh her chicken's popping a little bit she's kind of being bad I don't know why she's only eating chicken like I know it's good but like I don't want to continue just feeding her chicken uh. and then my trip come my trip is I'm, I'm going for my trip tomorrow and I'm kind of getting sad now like I'm, I'm actually like super sad to leave now like it's the longest I've ever been far apart from Daniel it's the longest like me and mommies are gonna be far apart and she's like the one that's like you know like she doesn't really know and then i don't want her to think i abandoned her or something and then like my family obviously but it's okay i know i know it'll be worth it and i know i'm gonna have fun like well once i'm there but just like leaving like kind of like we're about to be on our way to get our nails done hopefully they do a good job i'm like never satisfied with my nails like maybe my fingers are just like ugly and fat which well, my fingers are ugly and fat. They're just like a little bit chubby. Like, um, not like chubby, but they're just like weird. Like, I got my dad's hands and my dad's nails. My mom actually has pretty good nails. And my sister got, oh my god, why would I have an, I think an ant bit my foot because it hurts really bad. Uh, I think this place is going to be better than the last one. So, let's go and check it out. Oh, my window's down. So I just got out of the nail salon. Um, I recorded like a couple little clips for you guys. Oh shit, my car is locked. Um, but I just wanted my nails like really, really natural. But I love them, you guys. Uh, the place is called TT Nails, and it's here in Buckeye. Uh, if you guys want a good place, go there because it's so bomb. Um, he did my nails like this. This is what they look like. And I feel like the camera's making them look like a little bit, like, bulky, but they're not. They, like, they look so perfect in person, you guys. Like, this is, like, the, like, best my nails have ever looked. Like, I usually get, okay, I like the coffin style, but I feel like it makes my nails, my, my, my fingers just don't go with it because... They make it like too inward and then I told him I was like uh, I want the coffin style but can you make it like not that inward and he said that he said okay so semi coffin and I was like okay and then he did them and I really really love them obviously they're super natural you guys can get like a different color I love the way that they look so much you guys this is like the best anyone has ever done my nails I love them they look so amazing okay it's super hot in this car I should probably turn it on but I was gonna go um okay so I need to ship out like the giveaway stuff and I was gonna go to the U US post office but it's like 15 minutes away um I was gonna go there but uh, there's a UPS right here. Uh, I think UPS might be a little bit more expensive, but I don't really want to drive too far. I'm gonna get off to USPS or UPS, and I'm gonna ship out the giveaway stuff, and then I'm gonna head home, or then I'll probably get something to eat, and then I'll probably head home. Yeah, that sounds good. the mess i had to stop by and get pizza and wings and stuff and i'm home now finally I remember that. it was already 2 10 mommy's and bella oh i don't know if you guys have met bella uh my brother's girlfriend if you guys did not know she lives with us and she has a dog too her name's bella bella oh they're actually upstairs now yeah, but mommy's and her are like best friends, you guys. It's so funny. Uh, I guess you guys will meet her later because uh, I think she's upstairs. 
But I just finished. I had to make a thumb the vlog from yesterday. I edited it last night and I uploaded it last night. Um, well, I uploaded to my creator studio, but not like public. Um, today, like right now, I just made a thumbnail for it and I added the description box. I created a title for it and I just updated everything. And now it's ready to go up. It's not gonna. I'm not gonna upload it to like 5:30 or 6 though. Um, but all I have to do is just press public. I'm gonna go and. Finish packing. Sorry, I keep getting dark. I'm gonna go finish packing. All I need to pack now is my clothes, and I'll show you guys after I pack everything how I'm packing everything. Guys, this is Bella right here. Say hi, Bella. They're besties. <laughs> what? Hey, I'm ready to go, boy. guys. I know. I'm ready to go. Um, I have this suitcase right here. This is mommy's stuff because Daniel's gonna watch her. Thank you. <coughs> I have like a little pillow that I want to use on the plane, my laptop, my bag, and then this right here is my carry-on. Um, you ready to go, Piki? You ready to go? Yeah. I'm scared. I'm gonna be by myself. You saying bye to her? Tell him to say bye again. Dile bye. No, 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 no. Dile bye. Wait, why is he gonna punch her or something? Hey, did you bring all her pads? Yeah. Her pets. Her pets. Ready to go. Um, I don't know if I told you guys, but there's a hair in my mouth. I don't think there is. I think I'm just tripping. Um, I'm staying the night at Daniel's house tonight because he's driving me to the airport in the morning. I'm kind of sad because I feel like mommy's is gonna think I abandoned her. Do you think she's gonna think I abandoned her? No. That I gave her away? No, because then she won't see you again anyways. Because my friend Alicia said that dogs have no sense of time. So they don't know if 10 minutes have passed or if like 10 years have passed. That's so crazy, huh? Well, yeah, they're animals, baby. Um, but right now we're going to Daniel's house. We need to stop at Walmart too because we need to get her her little litter thing. And we and I need to get something too. I'm gonna I'm gonna vlog for a little bit longer, and then once we get to Dana's house, maybe I'll vlog a little bit. But I most likely won't vlog anymore because it's I'm not gonna see Dana for like six days. So you know I want to spend our time together, together, you know. Mommies won't eat, so I literally have to hand feed her. Look, guys, look at this. I'm gonna put some food in her bowl, and you guys are gonna see what she does. <laughs> Mommy, the food. Get the food. Get the food. Dude, the food is in there, and she won't eat it. Watch, I'm grabbing some more. She's eating it off the floor. I don't know why she won't eat it in the bowl. Look, the food. Let's try this. Maybe she'll eat it now. I don't know why she won't eat out of the bowl, but look guys, I take them out of the bowl and hand feed it to her and she eats it. What is this? I'm so confused. I want her to eat, but she won't eat out of her bowl. I already washed her bowl so many times, like, I don't understand, like, why she doesn't want to eat out of the bowl. She was eating out of the bowl before. I'm making her eat them off the floor. If I make like a little trail with it, she eats them. I don't know why she just won't eat them out of the bowl, which is weird. Oh my God, my little toe. So change of plans once again, we are taking mommy to the emergency room, obviously the animal hospital, but it's like the only one that's open 24 hours that's kind of close to us and I'm just really upset because she's having a lot of she's acting very weird and I'm supposed to be leaving in like oh my god two three four five I'm supposed to be going to the airport in like four hours and I just hope that it doesn't take as long as a real emergency room it's just really like it's so upsetting and you know I, I don't I don't want her to die while I'm gone on my trip and I feel like it's like a bitch for leaving now but you know I just want to make sure she's okay. I was gonna, we were gonna wait and have Daniel take her to the vet tomorrow, but. <clears throat> so guys, I'm taking over for a little bit since Liz is over here. Has to do some paperwork. And dude, 
literally this is crazy because like I never been to in a emergency bed and it's it's like it's like a legit hospital guys. It's crazy. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. You guys see that? Oh man. So they still have mommies in the room over there. They have us in a separate room. But I keep hearing her bark. But I think it's because um I think she's just crying and barking because they have her in a different room. Or like she I don't know, maybe she's just scared. Um, but so far they did they did a parvo test and obviously they're charging us to walk in here. But I was just worried that she might have parvo because my parents got two new dogs. Uh but it's negative, so thank the Lord. Um and then they're saying that her vitals are fine, that she's acting pretty normal, that she looks fine, but I don't know why she's acting this way then, why she's been throwing up, and like, I just don't understand, um, but they brought us like a little treatment thing, like a sheet that says what they recommend that we do, I mean, they're saying that she's acting fine, but yet again, they want us to do x-rays, they want us to do blood work, they want us to do everything else, which I asked them if they think it's 100% necessary, they said that, um, the guy said that, we could just take her home and because she's acting normal and she seems fine. Has a bow. So <laughs> um, so we'll probably just take her. I just wanted to make sure she didn't have parvo. That's what I was uh, like the most worried about. And then we'll probably follow up with her actual vet because we don't have her paperwork with us right now, like her shop records. We don't have anything with with us right now because it's all at my house. Um, so I think we're just gonna follow up with our regular vet since she seems like she's fine. I was just so worried. <laughs> There's a bunny right there, you guys. You guys see it? It's cute. I'm gonna zoom in so it doesn't go away. Why is it not moving? It gives no fucks. Hi, bunny. Let me see if we get closer to it. Oh, yep, there it goes. You're just being a drama queen. Making mommies freak out, taking you to the ER, mama, you have nothing. At least you're okay, mama. So I'm gonna end this vlog right here. It's already about to be three o'clock and we need to get up in like two hours so I can go to the airport. Um, yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog right here. Sorry, the vlogs have just been kind of all over the place just because mommy has been sick when she's not even, she doesn't even really have anything. All she's been doing, all we've been doing is taking her and then like they tell us she has nothing but at least she's okay so I'd rather her have nothing than have something obviously. Uh, please thumbs this video up. Subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. I love you guys so much. Wish me luck on my trip tomorrow. I'm excited and now I can go without like being so worried you know. Like I was just so worried. I was like oh my god how am I supposed to leave her. She has like parvo. Um, I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.